Good morning, traders. This is John Kennedy, Senior Market Strategist with RGO Futures here in Chicago to give you a brief morning rundown in some of the grain markets. First, in a, a slight recap on Monday, um, we had our export sales, which came in impressively strong for corn. Uh, wheat was solid, and beans were below expectations, but still firm overall. For the day, corn is trading slightly lower in the July contracts at 506 and a quarter, down about three and three quarter cents. Beans are trading just below the $15 mark at 499 and a quarter, but still up very strongly at 11 and a half cents for the session. Wheat is trading at 713, very high once again, up about three and a quarter cents for the day. Um, turning to the individual markets, um, soybeans have been pushed higher, impressively so by funds that have really been moving a lot of money into spreads and some of the old crop contracts. So that's really pushed the market up here over the past couple sessions. Um, going back to yesterday, we got better than expected crush demand. And you know that continues with the tight balance sheets. So it really bullish factors here for soybeans, at least here in the near term. Uh, corn's been moving relatively sideways, just kind of uh, moving in a co consolidating pattern but um, something that's holding it, uh, keeping some firmness in the market is obviously tailwinds with wheat being affected uh, on the bullish side by the geopolitical factors in uh, Eastern Europe. Um, wheat, you know, it's really, Ukraine is the breadbasket for Europe. Um, there hasn't been really significant disruption of that, but the threat of that via Ukraine or Russia obviously has really been pushing the wheat market higher. Um, also, there with the um, wave of really seasonally cold temperatures here in the Midwest, um, you know there was some fear, maybe some frost worries, but it remains to be seen in that regard. Supply really leans negative in wheat, but as long as the U Ukraine uh, situation continues, you know it's pro it'll probably be buoyed somewhat. Um, the weather overall over the next seven to ten days le definitely leans to the bearish side, um, and that in both temperature and precipitation. That should be you know, the improving planning outlook, all bearish factors as well. Um, keep in mind tomorrow morning, we have export sales at 7.30 Central Time. Until the next time, this is John Kennedy in Chicago. Have a great day. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.